the 90s. All right. Well, we're talking about song. What night? 11, 27, 22. Having a good time on the west side of San Antonio with the homies right here. What up, Ben? What up? Hey, don't be afraid to like line that mic up so we can hear you a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Line it up. <laughs> line that shit up, bro. I don't know. Can you speak into it? You sing, man. You just know you use my phone. I'm too far away. There you go. Yeah, man. You could you could totally move it a little closer, man. Works out. Works out. <laughs> you know you got. But can you get it? You got it earned good? Yeah, I got it. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. You good? You know, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if we're going to share. No, we're going to share. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. I don't want to hog it up. <laughs> hog it on up, bro. <laughs> Moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, it's, a, it's a special episode tonight. I got producer Pete doing this thing. Mr. Pete. Oh, what's up? How you doing tonight, Pete? Good, man. Fucking chill this shit. I ate some shawarma before this shit, and it was it hit hard. It was right, right there. Where'd you go? It's right down the street on Shanefield. It's a... Uh, Pasha. No, halal, halal something. It's back back where you used to live. Yeah, it's on that strip before that church and stuff. Okay, it's kind of in the back in that area. Okay, but that shit was hidden. That area has some surprising little spots. Yeah, that was. I've been meaning to try it, but on the way home today, Lisa got something. It was bomb, dude. What nice. else did you have with it? It was like the it was like that Greek salad and the uh, Greek salad and the basmati rice and shit. Yeah, but it was no falafel. No, no, no. It was shawarma. I fucking love falafel. Shawarma is just a fucking like Lebanese burrito though. Like it's well, shoot. Like I said, Pete, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Oh, they can go to uh, actually the only thing I got is Instagram, really uh, at n o v t h e o c h o Nova Ocho. There you go, and I got my good friend Renee sitting right by me. What up? If they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, just Instagram Grims two one zero. Ernest, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Just Instagram, ECT83. Or you, or you could put the fucking Thor signal in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> ben, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, sick bands. How do you, uh, yeah, that's it. How, can you spell that out for me? I think it's S-I-C underscore B-E-N-Z. Thank you, bro. These are the homies I've had forever so for like, what, 20 years, 30 years? Yeah, about 20-something years. Yes. For sure. Right? Like yeah, 20, a okay. good solid 20. 22 years. I met you at a Rage Against the Machine concert in 1998. Hey, hey. But, <laughs> did you, in, uh, you mean there were the December. stolen tickets? I had a real ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah uh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember uh, uh, a friend of mine was working at Kinko's back then. Like, uh, we had the crazy idea. Let's make, you know, let's make some tickets. We formulated that idea in a... Uh, Bro, it was a good hustle for a minute, Bro, dude. yes, it was. It was like technical Tech theater. theater. <laughs> With Miss Oliver. Well, I guess we sold so many tickets, there was a little riot at the gate. <laughs> well, that was, but that was because y'all went to like a, that was a Tool concert, right? No, that, that no, was no, no, no. This is the Rage. The, it worked at the oh, Rage one. It didn't work at the Tool one. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't like Moltar almost get arrested. Oh, no, uh, well, he didn't. Me too. I think that Tool, <laughs> show, that tool show was like in 2002. Yeah, hell yeah. That was when they started putting uh, barcodes on the tickets. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's when it started. I remember, like, I had, I, b- I was just trying to, s- I, I knew they weren't going to work. So I was walking away, and I was just all, hey, uh, you, ticket, ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and this fool gave me some money. Bro. I, I saw someone walking past me, and I gave them the money, and I just kept walking. And this cop saw, hey, uh, come here real quick. They searched me. They couldn't find the money, so they couldn't do anything to me. Right? Imagine, yeah. but imagine the second guy you get the ticket to walking in, like, "What the fuck, man? I bought this ticket." <laughs> <laughs> He's arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good times, man. Yeah, growing up in the nineties was fun. Man, why don't I sound? Hey, can you turn me up a little bit? This is mic number one, no two. There one, you go. Yeah, two. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There. Gotcha. Now we get it. So, so what you been up to, Pete? Uh, not much, man. I've been actually, I mean, other than working stuff, just had a little baby boy. Uh, that's been a uh, fucking trip. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. been a real trip. And then um, kind of getting back. Like, I know we, even before then, we've been trying to do music stuff back here and there, but I've been getting back to playing guitar a lot more and stuff, too. Oh, really? I'm trying to get really good at it again. So, like, actually learn how to play the fucker, like, learn what music theory is and shit. What about you, Renee? You still do just doing the movies? Yeah, we've been in pre production for like two years. Uh, it's it's uh, kind of a 
it's been hard just because we don't do like GoFundMe's or we don't look for grants or anything. But y'all should, man. Like, why the fuck? That's free money. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's not my decision. So yeah. it's, you know, it's kind of a we do a fifty fifty thing with me and Jody, uh, the uh, other Jody High Roller. Yeah, yeah, Jody High Roller. So <laughs> it, it's it's tough, but uh, other than that, just uh, keeping on and uh, dad life, soccer dad, you know. What's the? Is there another like movie in? Yeah, yeah. It's called a, it's called Tuesday. Um, it's a guy and a girl, of course, mm. um, moving in together right before the pandemic really starts. You know. Oh hell yeah, some real shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they're kind of stuck together, and um, I don't want to you know spoil it or anything, but um. Get together. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to you know explain what the rest you know of it. Should they turn into roosters? Or nah, what? but we can we can already imagine it's going to be like you know, a lot of fucking turmoil, a lot of yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Just because you got to be stuck together. And exactly, exactly. Yeah. Lockdown and shit. The, the, the girlfriend works a lot. The dude doesn't work because he worked at a bar. So it's yeah. like all that was just shut down completely. She was a dog walker. She, she can still do that since it's outside. So, uh, you know, just uh, it's, it's them, you know, madly in love and then them. You know, slowly dying. Mm. So God it, damn, they got, they got cancer or something? <laughs> slowly yeah. dying, dog? Just, like, just dying on the inside, you know, on the, the regular, uh, you know? So they're oh, gothic. Yeah. So they turned gothic. Yeah, life. There you oh, go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You saw they gothic? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the movie, it just turns them into gothic. They're like, so they just die inside. Then the next scene is them just painted all up dust. <laughs> Black hair, all looking m- medieval. <laughs> <laughs> what you been up to? Uh, I just uh, saw a movie called Something in the Dirt. Yeah, about a couple of days ago. It's yeah. a movie I've been looking forward to. Sounds like a punk. Thank band. you. Appreciate that. Yeah, and um, it's by these uh, two filmmakers that I uh, that I really like right now. Uh, they're called Eric. This one guy is called uh, shoot, J- Justin and. Aaron, I can't remember one. One of them's, uh, I think it's Aaron Moorhead and Justin Benson. There we go. And they've been doing like small movies, and they did this one small little movie about uh, this guy trying to help out his friend uh, over a kick a drug addiction, and oh, he somehow gets stuck in some loop. And uh, it was this really low budget horror movie. And ever since then, I've I've just kept on track. And they did a, like a romance horror movie that was cool, and then they did. Uh, a movie uh, called Endless that was somewhat connected to it. It was low budget, but they just have this like sense where they can do really low budget, but but make the story matter and oh, yeah. elevate it and all that. And um, and so like they've done a little bit bigger movie. I, I forgot what it was called. It was with Anthony Mackie. It was called Synchronoc, I, I think, uh, about a uh, EMT. Oh it yeah, it was on like Netflix, right? Uh, maybe yeah, it yeah, might, it might have a, been on Netflix. Or Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. It, it was a. Uh, a studio named Welgo, I think Welgo USA, they, they put it out, and usually those movies go to Netflix. And so, like, these guys have been dabbling around TV. They started going to, uh, they did a couple of Twilight Zone episodes. I never saw it. Oh, yeah. And then they did something for Netflix, and then they just recently did a couple of the episodes of uh, the Moon Knight Marvel series. Oh, shit, yeah. And so I thought, these guys are going to I like that show. Up. That's cool. Yeah. 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 No, it was a pretty cool show. show. That they can handle the, <laughs> just because they're, they're small, they can still handle like something big. And some of the episodes they do are the, some of the action ones. Oh, yeah. And um, but this one, this movie, uh, something in the dirt. Like I thought they would do something bigger, but they went straight back to square one. They stripped everything back, and it's more independent style, like their first movie. But they're still more of a budget. But what they do is they uh, break down the narrative. Show this whole way, new way how to tell a story. Oh yeah! By uh, two guys that meet each other. One guy moves into uh, this apartment in Los Angeles, and uh, he meets this neighbor. They have a smoke and they have this conversation. And then uh, the guy who lives in the new apartment ends up experiencing like some anomalies there, Whoa. and he starts to think. Uh, he starts to think maybe I should start recording it, make a documentary of it, and then they do it. He does it with this guy that he met, meets at the apartment complex, yeah. and as uh, as it goes on, they start to it's like try to figure out what's going on. And then you figure out like more about their characters, and then you start to 
wonder to yourself, okay. is this really real or are they just maybe these guys are messed up or just making it up? And that's the whole thing of the thing of the story is like trying to figure out what's real, what's not. Yeah. Or is it just these guys that are crazy that they don't have nothing else to do? And and um, it's really interesting. And then in between, they have like people that they're interviewing and they're talking about what happened, the situation. And they talk about like that, that something did happen. Yeah. But you're still guessing, like, trying to figure out, like, like, is this real or not? And it's and that's all I'll say. I don't want to give anything else away. It's about, it just shows how they can show uh, this new way of telling the story. And that's what made it so brilliant. It's definitely not for everyone. Crazy. I feel like that not a lot of people are going to get this movie until, like, two or three or four years later and be like, oh, this movie was brilliant until it comes on, like, streaming. Because it's really kind of hard to find right now. Shit. I saw it was Where'd playing at, see that? It, um, I, I rented it on Google Play. It was a... Uh, okay. It was playing at Draft House like for a week, like I think a couple of weeks ago, and then that's it. And like it was really like uh, it was really hard to find. Hey, we just lost Draft House, one of the Draft House, right? We lost the one on West Lakes, um, I think. Yeah, yeah West, West Lakes. Uh, uh, yeah, Santico's yeah. bought that. No oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, they closed that one and the one in New Braunfels and Santico's. Oh, I didn't that. like the West Lakes one anyway. It smelled like piss. Yeah, that's uh, all right. They had that cool comic book story though. Like, I saw, right next yeah, I I saw Private Parts there. With Howard Stern? Yeah. Stern? Yeah. No, it was shit. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, Fuck no, yeah. it was the Westlakes. Yeah. yeah, that's when it was at its prime right yeah, there. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to love going there, oh, and especially when it had the smaller movie theaters. Where, where did I get kicked out of, uh, uh, a lot of them? Fortin and Callahan? You know, you know, you know, it's the one I'm talking about? You're talking about Northwest. Yeah, we got, I got kicked out of there, with, uh, oh. I was watching Lost Highway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were telling me about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like sitting there with my homie, with Colin, my homie Colin, and like, yeah, they're just like, excuse me, man. You guys aren't alone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, fuck. Damn. Get out. Did they escort you, like, yeah, they with the flashlights? Yeah. Damn. Damn. You got ushered out. <laughs> Walk of <Yeah>. shame. <laughs> <laughs> you got ushered out. Did they play the uh, Ursher wow. music? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> the, the music pops on as they're getting Urshered out. Do, 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 get out. Do, 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 do. <laughs> how's, how's Bruce? Uh, he's money. Yeah. 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 He uh, today ate some shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bruce's dog. Oh, I fucking hate that shit. Oh, yeah. Just to let everybody know, this is a dog. Bruce is <laughs> a dog. The other day I had to pull my dog away, and she just, with the last bit of pool that. The fucking leash she ate some other cat shit and I was like, fuck, that's the nastiest fuck. Tasty. To them, I guess. Yeah, oh, for some Shatter, reason they Shatter like Shatter does Shatter will roll in the cat shit. I've had that too. I've had that with Faith to do that shit too. So just be fucking rolling around and I'm like, dog. And I gotta fucking does, wash it off. He does it so he can like hunt them. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, bro, like you got all this fucking cat shit on you. Like, yeah. Damn. You smell like shit, yeah. bro. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm camouflaged, bro. <laughs> Cam- I, got, I got this shit. That nat- <laughs> I got nature camo. You want the now? <laughs> so, can I can I get that hide, please? <laughs> yeah, luckily they don't do that. It's just with my socks. They do that. Your socks? Socks, oh. like something that smells. I guess it's just to get that. Yeah. You know that scent. Scent. Yeah. Wait, how many do you have? Socks dogs. or dogs? Dogs. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Socks. Yeah. Socks. socks. How many socks do Two, you have? Two. One for the left and one for the right. One for the left or one for the right? I would have to say, I mean, I have to pair them up, of course. So. Oh, sorry, I'm that, usually two left feet. thinking about it? Uh, no, I don't know. You know, some two dogs. <laughs> two dogs. Cool. You could have just said that. <laughs> I just did it. Gosh, listen. Uh, two dogs. Shit, other than, that, other than that, I mean, pretty much trying to like get into... Just getting old shit, getting old stuff. Uh, goddamn shit is. Um, getting back into like drawing and shit. Like that. Just all, all the stuff I used to do back in the day, reading the fuck ton, like trying to get uh, past my license this year. Like, well, maybe next year. For what? AC license. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Try to get extra pay at work and shit. And all that good. What are you reading? Uh, well, a lot of, dude, literally a lot of different shit lately. Like everything from uh, this one. Uh, it's a, there's a music, uh, music theory for dummies. No bullshit. It's a, it's actually a really good fucking book because it does. Everybody makes fun of them dummies books. Like, oh, it's fucking. Good. But actually, I've learned a lot from it. Yeah. And um, the last thing before that was uh, not the laws of humanity. Thirty three, uh, thirty three laws of war. Or what, uh, something like that from Robert Greene. And that was a trip. The next one I got on deck is a uh, laws of human nature. Robert Greene too. 
And that one's, uh, I got a little bit to it, but that dude's just, you know, he's read up on a lot of shit and he knows history. Like, he knows history and he relates it a lot to today. And it's fucking, it's crazy how much shit you go through every day and how a lot of shit from his book will apply to your situation in life. It's crazy. But definitely more shit on the table. Like, there's more shit I got. I got I bought a whole bunch of books from Half Price Books that I'm going to stack up. I stacked up on the top shelf. I'm about to read them one by one. Like, how long did it take you to get through a book? Uh, now it's a little rough, but like if I got a break at work and shit, I'll knock out a chapter or two, like yeah. at lunch or on break time. I'll have like between about 10, 12 pages, whatever, depending. If shit ain't pressing too much. I wish I had the patience to sit down and read a book. Movies, it's, yeah, but I just can't. I don't have the patience to sit down and read a book. Bro, I, I, I have the opposite. I was reading them on my phone for a minute. Hmm? I was reading them on my phone for yeah. a minute. Like, I, was li- I was liking that too. I've thought about the audio ones. Yeah, those are probably, if you don't like reading them, yeah, the book, I just get don't the want books. I fall asleep to it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man um, but yeah if you don't like the books get the audio fuck it man like same shit you're just taking it in a different way yeah uh, I only want it if you're reading it though <laughs> <laughs> I only want it if you're reading it hey you you have to be the voice oh hell yeah I was like and today he never returned again <laughs> So what, what y'all been on Twitter? I've been on YouTube. Dude, I've just been, you know, just partying. Partying. Um, <laughs> I was with the, the night shift the other night. We had this uh, we had this cool party at Snake Hill. The it's night shift is up. also currently in the other room right now. Yeah, we're having a little little farewell party to Frank. He's going back to Kansas tomorrow. But um, Kansas Snake Hill was really fun. Mm-hmm. It's right by a Betty's Battalion right there by Ford Salmon. Y'all know what I'm talking about now? I haven't been out in that area in a minute. Yeah, I've been out there, but I've been, the last time I was there, I went to go pick up parts, but I think I know what you're talking about. It was super cool. Yeah. It, was, it was a good time. It felt like a boiler room set. Like uh, uh, Everybody was behind the DJ. Like, there was oh, hell area yeah. where you could be in front of the DJ. Like, it was cool. It was a good time. Nice. That was, that was Friday night. What did I do last night? I don't think I did much last night. Shit. You know what you did the other night. What night? <laughs> The night that you can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday night. Thur- yeah, it was Thursday Recorded night. Digital Pro Lab. And we were supposed to do this. Yeah. Yeah. But I was. You had a good time. I had way too much whiskey. <laughs> That's what whiskey can do to you. It can sneak up on your nose somewhere. I think I threw up. <laughs> oh yeah, I think yeah, about once or twice maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think you came back and you're like, I'm ready. You're like, I'm ready, and then you were like. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we, we gotta do this another Shit. time, guys. What kind of big. whiskey you drink? It was Jameson. Oh, it was a big old no, fucking no, bottle right here. That, that's a. That if you look behind her, yeah. she, she she left me that's one of the right bottles. That's, yeah. a, that's a big boy. Like she left me. She she brought like seven different types of whiskey. She, yeah, it was, it was it was a good time. I, I was at a show not that long ago, and I had uh, a shot of Wild Turkey one on one, and Shit. it's been a while. And, and well, you were like the Kool Aid man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ready to party. Uh, should I also got to apologize to to the lady who had that jacket here because I pulled off the fat guy in a little coat. Perfect. My bad, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that picture at the right time when he was like trying to like, like move. Like, that. I, I need that. Oh yeah, it was perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah. But every time I remember, every time I see Jameson, I remember the time I got drunk off Jameson and I went to Disneyland. In oh California. Shit, gosh! It was a, yeah, it was nice. Him. It was nice. I was, <laughs> and it was around closing time, so there's not a lot of people there. The one so, that I always remember was you decided to drink an entire bottle of Jack, Jack Daniels. Daniels at on New Year's. No, no, oh, yeah. no, no, at a at some one of our graduation parties. I think yeah. it was yours. Yeah, it was my. I think it was mine. And, and you, you just like you were just you sat on the, the driveway. You were, yeah, you were in the yard the whole time. Throwing up. I, I just remember being on the backyard, lying yeah. down on one of their benches, and yeah. just kind of like <laughs> laughing and be like, "Happy birthday!" And yeah. taking a swig or something. I was, was gone birth- that night. I thought, I thought it was graduation. It I was, was graduation. gone that night. He thought it was a birthday. <laughs> I was. Gone. He, thought he, was thought he thought it was a birthday. What, what were you it was graduation? It was Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Yeah. But then I remember that was one my, time. That was you know Jack Daniel young that? days. We went to uh, um, it was a New Year's Eve party in the West Side. And he brought a whole bottle of Jack Daniels too, and it was. Um, I remember he hit probably the three quarter mark of the Jack Daniels bottle, and then he just slowly just dropped down <laughs> and just stayed in the driveway like bleh, just right there in the driveway. Offering shots. <laughs> Offering shots, yeah, because, I mean, there was about a quarter of a bottle left. But yeah. For real, for, still, for that, you killed, like, a three-quarter bottle. Like, I was like, fucking Help insane. me kill this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was being genu- you know, very genuous. 
Just giving shots out and generous. Generous. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that too. Hell yeah. That too. <laughs> that one as well. That one as well. Genuinely generous. Hell yeah. Genuinely generous. Fuck yeah, bro. I love a. Uh, have y'all heard of that app? Be real. I've seen the app. I've never used it. I, lo- I love it. Like right now, like it was time to be <clears> real. So like everybody who has the app. Yeah. Like, uh, well, be real is it takes two pictures of you, like the front camera and the back camera, right? Okay. Well, it's pretty funny because, like, uh, I see everybody outside who has the app just posted in the house. <laughs> <laughs> just partying. Oh, man. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's real funny. I just see all these different angles of the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and besides that, after the holidays, obviously, like, Back in the cutting season and starting to get a little swollen again and shit like that. Mm. What's, uh, what's your routine? That's well, the routine's not hard. It's more so it's uh, the, the discipline. The it's the eating that's hard. Oh, sure, the discipline's yeah, hard, yeah. Shoot, especially like. Especially here. Mexican. Yeah, especially here in the city, like it's hard. But like it's. Yeah, the city does make it rough. Yeah. I was telling Ben outside, it, uh, I've gotten back into uh, hiking. Yeah. If anybody's ever down to go, man, Reed Ridge or, or Government State yeah. Canyon. Hell yeah. Or drive up to uh, Enchanted Rock. Well, shit, government state's not even that far from my criminal. No, no, it's like 10 minutes away from mine, so. You yeah, got down, down right by uh, Taft, right? Yeah, no, um, no, no, it's Shanefield. Uh, Shanefield. Yeah. I almost got bit by a rattlesnake there one time, and Herms caught it. He was like, caught oh, it? watch him. He's like, watch out. And I was like, oh, oh, like, oh I thought he was, he was like, bare hands. hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, was a, he was like. He pulled an earnest. I got you know? it. <laughs> just, just crushed it with his hand. Yeah. And I caught it. He was like, hey, watch out. And I was like, damn. And I moved away. I caught dinner. <laughs> and I moved away, and I was like, damn. And I, I got lucky because I was about a few inches away, and that thing was coiled the fuck up, ready to bite me. Uh, it was, <laughs> I've only ever seen deer it out was there, really. Yeah, like, you see some random, some random stuff over in government. Uh, uh, Friedrich, too. One time, Adam got uh, stuck there at night because he lost his phone or some shit. Fuck. And he got surrounded by a uh, oh, uh, javelina. Oh shit! Yeah, that ain't yeah, no yeah. fucking right. He better climb up yeah, a tree. So he had, you know, he had to like act real aggressive or something. I don't yeah. know how he got out of it, but eventually, I guess he just shit right there. Ah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> my territory. I believe was like, I'm out. I'm out. all right. I'll they just, shit. they cool. just left or whatever, and he was able to get out of there. But yeah, he got that place is rowdy too, man. Yeah. Anywhere you go. Have you, have you ever hunted those? Javelin, no, I have it my pop my pops has. My pop has got a few of them. Javelin, he had one mounted up on the wall. Man, I had a homie that was like, uh, you can't eat them though. Yeah, he would. They would go out on their ATVs and hunt them and like jump out and like slit their throats. Yeah, that's they, were, they were they were rowdy. They were rowdy. That one's crazy because you have to literally you have to be up on their ass on a four wheeler and you got and one person got to be hanging off with a knife and like that's how I do it. Like in Florida, I do that shit with hogs. They'll like be riding and hanging off and then wham and they get it and they're like that's all. I don't check. You yeah. can you can also uh, uh I think you can there was a spot where you can like. Kill him with like a Gatling gun, oh, yeah. hanging off a oh, helicopter. Yeah, that shit, you could do. <laughs> well, that, that's see, intense. That's you that, that intense. Here. That's like sport. I did see a video on YouTube of this dude. Bro, you can do that out here in fucking the rifle. In bass Hunt, drop. You can do a chain gun like just yeah, right on, on, on hogs. That's nuts, man. They allow that's. But those things kill all the deer. They're, no, but they're too, they're right? yeah they they fucking they ruin like crops. They ruin yeah, fucking deer. They don't let you hunt deer. It's like a pest. A fucking pest, no, man. So, yeah. so it's okay to like hunt them like that? No, they're open season year round. Open season. And you yeah. can eat them. Can, can you hunt a deer with them? We well, shouldn't eat them. They're no. disgusting. No, no, no. <laughs> nah, deer's, deer's protected. You can't fuck with deer like that. You can, but at any time, we, if we hadn't knew anybody with land and shit, at least a few acres, we could hunt hogs like today if you wanted to. Right now yeah. if you wanted to. That's how much of a nuisance they are. Really? Like, yeah, they fuck up everybody's uh, crops and everything. So we don't care about them. No. Nope. No, that they, they, they invite people to come here yeah. to fucking kill them. Like just have fun, yeah. <laughs> just take as many as you can out, yeah. And then a lot of times if they're over, there's too much meat. You can take them out and like uh, get them processed. And uh, I think they have like a deal, like a like a food for the homeless type of thing. If you have so much meat, you can just take it off. It's get not it processed. very good, right? No, the it meat. is good. Oh, really? You just gotta. You have to. Obviously, it's a little gamey, but you gotta yeah. season it. Also, shit, in right, it. right. It, it can't taste good. But at least it's not going to waste, right? Like all yeah, they're feeding sure. somebody, shit. Yeah. And funny enough, they eat, they're eating better than most people because that's real organic shit right there. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Never had that. It's good. Yeah, I've never yeah. tried it either. So I, mean, I have deer. Yeah, yeah venison. Never. I've had deer jerky. Deer jerky. Yeah, deer jerky is good. Remember that guy at um, mm-hmm. that we worked at the toy factory? That big tall Scottish guy. He would always bring deer Ooh. sausage. Big tall Scottish guy. He was one of the temps. 
I don't remember. He was a real cool guy. He was like, hey, yeah. What dreams are you having, Fucking bro. Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> it was when we were working at Toy Works. At the I Toy Factory. I don't, I don't remember that guy. I remember everybody else, but I don't remember that guy. I'm sure you do. Yeah. What's up? You don't recycle? You don't recycle? Uh, I do, but it's a whole thing right now. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, true, true. Anything convenient right there. The holidays will fuck you up, too. Like, today we forgot <laughs> it to... It doesn't matter. We all have plastic <laughs> in our fucking blood, bro. <laughs> We're so full of plastic. We're all going to die. They only use five... They only recycle, what, 5% of the plastic? We fucking try and recycle. Yeah. Go, go, go glass. Floating in the fucking... Go glass. Yeah. Go, go glass. Go floating glass. in the fucking earth. The ocean, yeah. Slowly killing us. I think that's probably... That's, that's one of the worst things we've ever made. Plastic, probably, yeah. Yeah. That's a motherfucker. It's so cheap, though. That's why. Yeah. So you know, make. most people complain about everybody's got those paper fucking straws. Yeah. And that's like apparently one of the lowest percentages of actually kill turtles. Yeah. You know what kills turtles most? The plastic rings off the six yeah. packs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same with dolphins. Did you ever cut them? Like yeah, you're you supposed know? to cut them before yeah, you cut them. Yeah. That's what I always what do. blows my mind is how the fuck does it make it from the landfill to the ocean? That's what I'm trying <laughs> just to do. <laughs> <laughs> plastic <laughs> fucking <laughs> rings off the There you go. <laughs> Landfill's full. We're going to have to throw it They the got Jimmy out there there. just hawking them. <laughs> <laughs> they just take, put it in a plane. Like Corpus Christi Bay. Big ass spot. Corpus Christi Bay. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Oh, man. He's that, getting paid well. I hope, I hope he's so. getting paid well. Yeah. He is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> Under the I table. Bet you, I bet you the fucking. Uh, Under the I deck. bet you landfills are having a hard time finding people to fucking work right now. Whoever's there probably getting paid really well. Dude, anywhere, anywhere, people, yeah. people are having a hard time finding some people to work. Yeah, they do want to work. I heard. They want to I heard the last them. movie you had, you had a smuggling actress from fucking Malaysia, dog. Hey, <laughs> I'm not gonna speak on that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you where we got our actors. All never, I know is I got a particular talk set about of Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else have you been watching, Alex? Shows you been doing. I know you always end up like his shirt. Oh, I know you always hell. end up at some rowdy hardcore show. Oh, at a hard. What was the last show I saw? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you put them on the there's spot. too many to, to uh, name. So much. Uh, the last show I was at was at that Napalm Death in uh, Bruhidia. Where was that at? It was at uh, Paper, Paper Tiger, Tiger, I think. Yeah. How, how yeah. was it? Was it sick? No, it was cool. Uh, I really wanted to see Frozen So uh, from Dallas, and I wanted to see Bruhidia. Been a long time. I can't remember the last time I saw him, but it, it, it was cool. It brought out a lot of people uh, from the woodwork, yeah. from the woodwork there. But um, it reminded me uh, how like uh, how what a Mexican San Antonio can be, <laughs> yeah. because like there was like these uh, so many random people there, and there was I was trying to figure it out like what's going on, and then so there was these like girls that were dressed all like. High class maintenance, like and Chica's, like just dressed real nice. And then as soon as this one Brujeria song came on, she just ran straight to the front and started like mouthing every word that she knew. And then she comes back, she goes, "Oh yeah, let's go, girls." And then I was like, <laughs> I was like "She's probably gonna go dr- have a drink at Squeeze Box. I don't know somewhere." And it was just the most Squeeze, random Squeeze thing. Squeeze Box, I don't, I don't know, know, maybe Rumble. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 Rumble like, dog. <laughs> It was like random yeah, shit yeah, yeah. like that, and then I saw like like a lot of pachucos there, Man, like with their chicas, and it's like it was. It, it, everyone was having a good time, but it was like this random like. So it was a melting was like, pot, bro. That's it. That's the fucking song her brother used to beat her to and shit. <laughs> 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 nah, it, it was cool. It was really really fun. Um, yeah, that week I went to a bunch of shows in San Antonio, and, and it reminded me how fun San Antonio can be. Hell yeah, sometimes. But yeah, that, then I ended up going to go see uh, Destroyer of Light from Austin. It was at a uh, Faust, and then this band called Lucid Furs. But I really wanted to see Destroyer of Light, and the drummer of that band, he's a he's like a, I guess, I, I felt bad saying this. He's a cripple. Oh shit! And, uh, he's a drummer. Yeah, he's a drummer. He's Yo. Drummer. So like, I saw this guy. He drums for a band called The Flood. Yeah. Okay. And from Austin, and they're really good. And and I saw this guy. He. He came out setting up his drum set when I saw the flood, and he was like dragging his like I, I think it was like his left, uh, his left foot, like, oh. 
Yeah. And then I could tell, like, he had something wrong with his arm. Yeah. But he was able to still function but move slowly. And then he set up his drums, and I was like, I was like, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, well, I mean, yeah. that's yeah. my bad perspective. Yeah. I was yeah. just yeah. like, well, you know, and then yeah. I was all thinking, oh, well, and they're a doom metal band. And I was like, well, yeah. I don't know, like, maybe the, you know, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to think this out, and then and then uh, they finally go on. He has this whole set up, and then the guy just played drums like nothing. Yeah, yeah. He, he hit, hit it hard and everything, and I was like, "That's fucking inspiring, right there, man." Yeah. That guy just came up, and then and then I see him at, at this show helping out everybody, and I'm just all like, "And I never seen Destroyer of Light before. I've always missed him." And then I see him set up the drum set, and I said, "Oh shit, that guy plays for Destroyer of Light." And okay. I went and talked to him, and he goes, "Yeah, I play for this man and, and Flood and." I'm always constantly doing shows. The guy's like a cripple and still does his thing, and he goes out and, and tours and shit, and has yeah. no problem at all. I wonder how he managed. He's well, way I'm, older than I, us. Okay, I'm gonna say, and I, I'm gonna be a little bit of a hater here, but I'm gonna say, I'm assuming he's got triggers on the drums. Oh yeah. And I mean to yeah. pull to pull off. I mean to be especially if you're crippled and shit like that. You know, like to make everything to hit hard and especially consistent. If it's one of your legs. You yeah, know, hell yeah. The hi hat and. The, well, it it's I it's still impressive. Still, it's still, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's crazy. Like yeah. he's fucking yeah. I mean, he's really determined. This yeah, guy. that just goes to show how much he loves. Yeah. Playing, because you could you know? yeah, yeah, that shows that that doesn't hold him back. Yeah, anything. you could put triggers on somebody's drum set right now who's not good, and it's still gonna sound like shit. You know, it's just it. <laughs> <laughs> it can be like one of those uh, just playing the beat for you, like those pianos that play the beat for you, and you can probably still mess up, Brene. No machines, yeah. So yeah. on the rhythm. How'd you make it as a bass bass player? <laughs> yeah, you need a shit ton of rhythm for bass. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's just my feet just can't do it. I guess I tried. Yeah, it's, just it's, fun, it's fun to bang the shit out of them. You still yeah, play bass? That's, that's I haven't I haven't picked up any instrument in like over a year. Just shit. so busy, man. Yeah. Mm. But why don't you write the music for the movies? Hmm? Why don't you write some of the music for? Um, yeah, we haven't even thought about or talked about. Uh, music for uh, for Tuesday actually. Yeah, that might be something to consider. Because well, like, especially since you're going for like, uh, man, like you said, a whole array of shit, like yeah. you know, real life situations. You yeah. figure there's certain certain music gonna hit certain scenes a yeah, certain way. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Put more. We into haven't thought about the score or anything yet. Yeah. We've just been busy saving Porter money said, for it. Just play Portishead. Portishead, Portishead yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's one of them movies, it, it might fit. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's I mean, you got to pay royalties. Yeah, you got to pay a lot of money for that yeah. shit. Okay, then then it'll be uh It's better I'm better off just writing like It'll be yeah. go- gordish. Plus it'd be funner, I think. Yeah, know? I think so too. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It'd be a lot better and cheaper cuz I don't got to pay him. This movie's going to cost about $20,000 to make. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Just because paying everybody, it's going to be a month of filming. Yeah. It's all it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a It takes a lot. lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot, a lot of time, a lot of yeah, it's just it's everything. <coughs> paying for a the lo- camera, everything. For the dude. Luckily, we have we have the cameras, we have all the lights, we have the C stands. Yeah, we're getting a boom mic here. To so do a barbecue oh, yeah. plate fundraiser, mm-hmm. like barbecue plate fundraiser. <laughs> I mean, duh, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah not you know, you know. I mean, yeah. They also right? like you to, could. So doing the movies and stuff, I was like, you know, you hear about all the Hollywood stories that they start at four in the morning. Where fuck, how do y'all do it? And if you're doing it for a month, is it every day? Uh, yeah, every well, two I, days off. I have the greatest uh, idea. Greatest idea. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> you ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay. No, I, 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 yeah, you should. <laughs> should be. No, you just dress up as a gremlin yeah. and take pictures with little kids, man. <laughs> and like with family members. You know how they do like in the Hollywood um, yeah. squares, you know? I don't even think anybody knows who gremlins are anymore, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. They sell a bunch of shit at Heroes of Fantasies, man. Yeah. Oh, They're big on it over there. Yeah, you should do that, man. Just be like, hey. Five bucks, take a picture with me, and then you can gain the money for the movie that way. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think I'm gonna raise twenty thousand dollars with that. It's a start. <laughs> It'll be a start. If you got a really good costume, no, you uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, like a really to good be honest, costume. To be honest, if, uh, if you're trying to do a campaign, talk to Smitty. Yeah. Oh yeah. He, he just did the he whole, just did a whole campaign for the yeah. Movie. I saw that. I mean, keep right, track that shout out Smitty, uh, Benjamin the dumpster. Like he, yeah, that should be on. Yeah, yeah him, shout out yeah. to Smitty. He, 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 he did hundred and twelve percent. He made a bunch of models and shit too, like. Yeah, so yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, so, man, it looks really dope. That's shout a good out idea, Smitty, actually. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, shout out Smitty, man. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Benjamin the Dumpster, right? Benjamin the Dumpster, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what's up. Named yeah. after you. Yeah, I he's with the I, B, I, N. I don't think it is. That, that was me. I'm just kidding. You're not trash, Why are you talking about Benjamin like that? You're not trash, Ben. You're more than that. I love you, Ben. Dumpster. 
dumpster diving. No, but that's cool that he made his uh yeah, man. he made his goal right yep. before there we go. Dude, that's how oh, yeah. that, yeah, the deadline. Fun. You know. Yeah, it was cool really like uh dude, like I saw him build all the little like characters and just paint on them and do all that sort of stuff. Yeah, he did a, a lot of advertising for it. So Yeah, he did. He, every day of the Kickstarter campaign he had a different graphic for it. I saw him at a lot of spots too, like taking sp- like pictures of him. Yeah, he was trying to use really yeah, yeah, he, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was really, really, really doing the work, the leg work and everything yeah. like that. So a lot of different bookstores, a lot of shit like that. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, that's big ups right there. We made it happen. It's times like this you would like wish like kids toys are still around to be perfect time to like drop shit there. Are they bringing that back? I don't know. I know it's been I know they closed it down. It's in Macy's. In Macy's no shit. They're in Macy's stores. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Well, then it's impossible to get your shit in there now. Probably yeah. gotta go through a whole <laughs> thing to get fucking Benjamin. You, have, you have to have a card like a Costco card just to smoke. I have them in the kids section. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I rolled that with my feet. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you remember you used to do that in the car in the like <laughs> while driving. Right. Oh, so roll with your feet. One handed. One handed. One handed. The other hand was in the cast. That's what. Yeah, you that's remember? right. I was driving. I was all like, and I rolled up rolling. Yeah. yeah. It good was time. hilarious. Yeah, good time. And it was always AC <coughs> until you pass gas. That's when you had to. Well, remember the windows didn't roll down. Yeah, that's what I, you always used to like crop dust this in there. You used to stink us up. Oh, uh, bro. And only that, you'd be like, man, what the fuck? Like, well, find another ride home, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part of it right there. Now I'm good right now. That was the best part of it right hey, there. Those, those were good times, man. Yeah. Remember we'd go down like Shanefield, nothing was out there? Yeah, nothing. Man. Yeah, Shanefield, uh, Gong, right? Uh, Tally, Petranco into Petranco. 11. All the I way out there. People, I Rolling remember, Oaks Estates. I remember people, uh, people that were older than us, they always used to like ride on Tally on the wrong side with the lights off. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> and then turn them on, right? Doing that whole urban legend type of deal. Jeepers, Tally, Tally Road Runner. Tally Roadrunner? What's, what's that? Wasn't there a Tally Roadrunner? Like this ghost that would just run? <laughs> <laughs> like Sir Rand Ratman? That was like oh, a Rand Ratman. Something, Rand something Rand like that? Uh, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring that up. Don't bring it up. Now it's getting interesting. Bro, Let's talk about first, him. This is the first time I've ever heard of a Tally Roadrunner. I've, I've heard, 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 heard about it. I mean, I remember that movie Porky's when he's, they called it a Tally Whacker. Porky's? Porky's. Porky's. Oh, you seen Porky's? That old 80s movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. It was those raunchy movies from yeah. the 80s. Pretty fucking funny. Yeah, yeah those. I remember watching Revenge of the Nerds when I was little. Yeah. And I, called my dad I think they came out like in like <laughs> 79. <laughs> Which one? 79, 78. Which one? Porky's. Porky's, 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 yeah. Yeah, Porky's, yeah. Porky's, Porky's Revenge. Yeah, yeah, they only had like about three. I remember when I first moved out, mm-hmm. um, Pete had a bunch had of VHS. I had, I had the ones that my cousin had. He was yeah, like, and you, was like, yeah, Porky's one and two and three. Yeah, yeah and we just <laughs> would watch them nonstop. And that shit fucking cracked me up. That saved me a lot of death, a lot of times, but I did, couldn't afford cable, so I'll just watch that. No, the BTR, funny, yeah, good times. And then uh, what was that other one? Meatballs? Master Lampoon's uh, Senior oh. Trip. Senior Trip was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice one. So fucking stupid. A lot of That's when I knew that kids in the hall was breaking out because yeah. uh, that the Star Trek. He played the Star Trek guy, and he had the inflatable dog next to him as he drove the Cadillac, something like that. Yeah. I can't remember the name. Remember the crossing guard? He's like, stop. Yeah, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. That was like a 90s. Yeah, it was like a, late, like a mid-90s thing. Yeah. Mid, mid-90s, yeah. Do you remember Tracy Ullman's show? Yeah. It was on Lifetime. And like the Simpsons would come on. Yeah. Like a, like a little skit of it. Like 10 minutes, not even Poor, 10 Poorly drawn Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the animation was terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it looked was, all squirrely and just like yeah, it was it was yeah. pretty bad. Do they show that version on Disney Plus? No, no, one, no. Yeah. probably because it's part. It was part of a Tracy Tracy Ullman show. Yeah. Yes, I didn't even know Simpsons was on Disney. Yeah, I think they are. On Disney yeah, Disney yeah, Disney Plus. Every, yeah, they bought them out. Fox, That's fucking crazy. Basically, they predicted Trump running in twenty twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They predicted a lot of shit. Yeah, they predicted a lot of crazy, a lot of stuff. A lot of theories and shit like that. I'm afraid of what else is going to come true. Right. Aliens. What have you been watching? Um, Andor. Andor's been yeah. that Star Wars. Uh, it's like right before Rogue. I love yeah, that. Right, I haven't it's... seen the last episode yet. Okay, okay. But, I just uh, saw it. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it's good, but dude. I thought Andy Circus was great. I was it's good. Uh, so like, I don't know. I'm not a big Star Wars fan yeah, at all. Yeah. But, but uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. 
The only like out of the, all the new movies I really liked was that Rogue, Rogue One. Rogue One was, Rogue One was good. Was, Rogue yeah, One was a shit. Was, yeah, it was different. different. Yeah, it was different. Yeah. It was a different story. It's better yeah. than that new trilogy. It, con- it connected yeah. Yeah, yeah. To, to that to the original trilogy. Yeah. yeah, but it had its own thing. There was its own style, mm-hmm. own uh, background, and everything. And yeah, different characters. Uh, and then I found out I knew about Andor, and but I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get to it at some point. But then I saw that Tony Gilroy was involved. Yeah. And he said that, oh, I'm not going to do uh, Star Wars tropes. And then I said, wait, who's doing this show? And then I saw it was Tony Gilroy, and he was the guy that stepped in and helped finish uh, Rogue One Rogue because One, it yeah. was, like, mm-hmm. really troubled. Oh, yeah. My bad. Yeah, it was almost a terrible movie. Or could have been a really could have well, been. Yeah, could have. I really intrigued to see what would have been the finished product yeah. from the other director. Because mm-hmm. it started off slow, but it turned out really good. I, I do like, yeah, like I said, I even like it now because it's going before Rogue One and showing you all like the, the lead up to it. Yeah. yeah. And well, it's been a... Andor like, feels like this real show with a real story. Yeah. Yeah. And it wants to do something different. It wants to do its own thing. And it's not, it's not like uh, relying on all, all the, like, the other this characters. the regular Star Wars this tropes. Like, the know, Force. They yeah, want to do something stuff, different. Yeah. And like, that's what the I'm Swartz? down for if they're going to do like... The a, the Schwartz. That's, that's what I'm down for. They're going to do like different movies or yeah. different shows. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought they were going to do, but they ended up going back to like, like I guess fan service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they want everything to be very like for all audiences, so they can understand the story and have a good time understanding what's going on with the whole Rogue and Star Wars. I think that's what's going on. It's crazy. Because it's different when you watch the old yeah. ones compared to these new stories, you know, because it has, like, different comedy and adult comedy, you know, compared to, well, like, like old-fashioned yeah, ones. It's the new, the most, more. I just saw the, uh, the last two recently, number eight and nine. Yeah. I remember watching them being like, what the fuck was that? Wait. <laughs> the last Jedi. The last two, Last Jedi. Oh, and, and, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. what the fuck was that? Like it, I liked Last Jedi because it was... Uh, I don't like it as a whole, but yeah. I like that it wanted to do something. It mm-hmm. wanted to be ballsy. There, there's some silly stuff about it. There's some. See, but that was the stuff, stuff. That, that kind of bugged me. Was it like the overly like, whoa, falling, you know, like the falling over shit, like breaking. Like, <laughs> like, All right, man. You know what show I recently yeah. visited was uh, Fanboys. Oh, that, yeah, 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 yeah. When they were, uh, it was. Phantom Menace, right? Or the first one that came out? Phantom Menace, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the fir- it was around that time era. Yeah. And it was the guys that did uh, Balls of Fury. Oh, shit, okay, yeah. Yeah, and that's what the whole movie was, was about. It was uh, about a, one of their friends who dying from cancer. And he wanted to see the movie. So they traveled oh, all the way to I California bet. to break into George Lucas's. Oh, no shit. His ranch. His ranch, his ranch. His ranch. yeah. yeah. Doesn't James, James work there a few times? Oh, yeah, he, he mentioned that. Yeah, shout out to James. Yeah, shout definitely. Mr. Borchini. Mr. Borcher D. Yeah, he, uh, he mentioned that. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. That he's like, um, but that's what the whole movie is about. It's pretty funny because they actually have like a, a random little fight scene between Star Trek. Oh, Star, <laughs> Star Trek. Oh, Star Trek. Oh, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. Seth Rogen. Oh, it's Seth, Seth Rogen. Rogen. Tricky. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, What's alert. sad is that that movie was supposed to come out like at a certain point and then it got like hold back or shelved and then it didn't come out for like about three years later or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It, I remember, like, that movie was supposed to come out, like, at a certain point, and then just kept, kept getting pushed I, back. I saw that again recently. That What's one, it? that same one, Fanboys. And I don't oh, know, fanboys, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's because of the whole uh, George Lucas thing or... Uh, probably, yeah. Who knows? Uh, I saw it on Prime, and uh, Prime is surprisingly got some good... You got some good shit every once in a while, yeah. yeah. Like, you get some good... The one thing that will fuck me up on Prime is you'll go to... Oh, it's on Prime. Let me check it out. It's like, you want to rent or buy this shit? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. You know... I thought it was on Prime. I tried to watch that. And they don't weird. have a, they don't have a, like a, uh, a place to click. We're like, hey, this is a free shit, and it's the paid shit. Yeah, it just kind of mixes everything together. It blends it in, yeah. Because yeah. I went to try to watch that Weird Al Yankovic movie. Yeah, <laughs> and they said you have to do. Uh, that was on Roku. Yeah, yeah, you have to Who's download it. Huh? Who played Weird Al? Uh, Daniel Harry Radcliffe, Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, and apparently it's good. <laughs> so he did a good job. <laughs> it's really good. It's yeah, you've so seen funny. it. I've seen it. Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe played fucking uh, Weird Al, bro. Yeah. So like, I I didn't know like the the deal. I, I just had heard about that this movie came out. <laughs> yeah. And I started to watch it, and then I was like, and I just like I, I kind of don't believe that this happened. And then I started to like Google, and then it's all like, 
oh, okay, this shit's bullshit. Yeah. He's, doing, <laughs> he's like parodying, he's parodying like the documentary, uh, I mean, a biopic of a musician. That's what right. he's doing. And yeah. it sounds like Walk Hard. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it was, like, but it was, <laughs> like walk it's hard. his own way. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, he's just fucking with you the whole time, and that's the best part about it. It's so ballsy. It's not. It's not like great or anything, but yeah. how ballsy to make a decision like that about your own uh, story is hilarious. Yeah. So weird. I was behind that. Weird. All. I heard that it was based off of a short film that they did for Funny or Die. Okay. And they put out the movie and and then uh, I think it was like put out like a long time ago, like maybe ten years ago, on the, and it's on the website. That's wild. I just remember UHF from Weird Al. <laughs> oh, wow. You're talking you, about you, Spatula yeah. City. Spatula City. <laughs> Spatula City. <laughs> you chose Red Snapper or you chose the box. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> so anyway, but no, he wanted to, uh, they wanted to make a movie about him, but then he was all like, well, what if we just do like a continuation off of this one year die thing and yeah. we just make a parody of it though. And like, uh, it's, it's just outrageous things. Like, like I would, I was seriously like, I looked this up, and I mean, when I was watching the movie, I was like, nah, I don't. Re- I was like, I don't know. I would have remember hearing about something like this, and I look it up. I don't want to say what it is. I don't want to give anything away because that's yeah. the ridiculous part of it. I mean, it's so great, but and uh, yeah, and then I'm just there looking it up, and then the first thing I see is like, you shouldn't believe anything. <laughs> and, then, and that, and then that Weird Al says that that he's just doing what he's doing. He just parodied yeah. yeah, it's it's funny. Where did you see it at? Uh, I saw it on Roku because I actually have a Roku stick. Oh, you're yeah. cool. Well, maybe in uh, what I'm thinking is like they can't keep it on Roku forever. I'm pretty sure they did yeah. that just to get like some subscriber. Oh yeah, some yeah. Are, that's what get, they usually do. Some people like, get buy a Roku stick or buy a Roku TV and then or subscribe to a, a service yeah. that they have to on top of that. And then I'm pretty sure like maybe by the end of this year year or Next month, they'll have they'll have it up for rent. That's a, that's as far as I could see it. Like I don't know if yeah, it, that's what they said, right? Yeah, that's what they told you. <laughs> <laughs> that's how usually things kind of run. I mean, I couldn't see that movie just being on there. Is they? I think they would want that movie to have some sort of access to everyone. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, sooner I've sooner or later, it'll be Netflix available for everybody. Does that. They'll put their movies on for rent and others and other uh, like Vudu or, or yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Oh, I've yeah. seen that. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, like, I don't think everything, but, but just, like, probably maybe the popular Whatever they stuff. think they can make some money off of whatever Yeah, they pretty much. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that has a little big-time actors. But there's some stuff that people just keep exclusive to themselves. And See, what's the deal with uh, movies, like, nowadays that have a theatrical release? It seems like all of the runs are so limited. These days. It, it feels like oh, a waste of time. That's for because, but, a, like, a couple of Honestly, weeks. are you talking about, like, just recent or just yeah, like, like the last the year or two. Yeah, yeah, because they'll be going um, to like honestly, theaters for like two weeks and then be on Netflix. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, like it's Supposedly, a short amount of time. The deal was, I remember it used to be where it would be three months and then go straight. Yeah, to like, yeah. Now yeah. it seems yeah. a lot. It seems shorter, yeah. man. Yeah. It seems a lot shorter. Then, well, it's now not a lot of people go to the movies now. Well, That's true. Now too. because of COVID, yeah. they've had to flip the game, and some people uh, will show their movies. Like that movie, uh, what's that new movie with uh, Santa Claus? And, uh, oh, oh yeah, the guy from Stranger Things is yeah. in that one. He's all like uh, Bloody like Christmas or something. Yeah. Like, I thought it was gonna be a remake of Silent Night, yeah. but it's but it's not. This is a totally different movie. Hey, but yeah. didn't, didn't Silent Night get like shut down? Like they didn't release it after all. That Silent Night movie. They did remake that movie, but I didn't want to see it. Oh. the first one's alright. I mean the the original one is, is alright, but I just. So I was a nine. What movie is that? Is that a horror movie? It, yeah, it was from back in the day, yeah. but okay, from what I remember, it really? never got released. That's from what I remember. But uh, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Uh, they released like four of them. There was like one, two, three. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was just three of them. They remade one, and it came out like a couple years back. But mm-hmm. yeah, I, I think it was on saw. Amazon Prime there. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Because yeah. I know the OG one, I remember that was one of the ones that got, like one of the original movies that got rowdy kickback during like the Reagan times. So they were like, no, nah, yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, like. It's crazy how everything's being rebooted though now. Yeah, like they're, they're, they're this really is why of, there's not a lot of originality. Well, this is why I've been going it's on wild. different and looking at different like country shit, like yeah. France or dude, fucking go, Korea. Go, like just yeah. I'm like, dude, yeah. they got yeah, at least they're cool. putting out somewhat original shit which, though, which is really cool. But also just look at like indie. 
yeah. you know. Uh, look, look at the uh, the Safdie Brothers back catalog. For example. Those are hard. That's like a hit or miss with the indie movies. Yeah, right? but, but I'm saying like the Safdie Brothers, uh, Uncut Gems. A lot of yeah. people know. No way. Like they have a whole catalog of movies oh, prior sure. to that. That's just. Oh well, yeah. I mean, when they were like indie, indie. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. But I'm just saying, like, uh-huh. it, it's totally different now because of uh, COVID, and they yeah. now uh, it's really hard to see independent movies. And, mm-hmm. and now, if you really want to see like something. You have to like uh, either look at Alamo Draft House, yeah, or uh, actually, I've seen that that place Flakes Brew House has been playing like oh some yeah, yeah. kind of different stuff. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know where that is. It's Flakes. right there, yeah. Oh, yeah. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, Anya Taylor, oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Nicholas Holt. Like I had, because I live like right by uh, near Casablanca. Oh, uh-huh. But I was like, I want to go have a. But if I mean, you can have a beer at Casablanca, but you have to go to the bar or whatever. Yeah. But then I was like, I can go 18 minutes down this way and go have a beer and, and just chill right there. And then I don't know. I just been wanting to go Some somewhere different, different too. Vibe. And so like, and then I wanted to have a beer, and it was like I think it was on Thanksgiving night. Yeah. But see, like the the initial time I saw the trailer for the menu, I was like, "Hey, what the fuck is this?" <laughs> I was like, "What was it? Like chicken nuggets?" No, it's like the, it's like they're serving this fine food and shit, but it's like uh, apparently like a like a horror type movie. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's Honestly, like, yeah, it's just like really like it's really like a a fuck. It's a big fuck you to to rich people. It's a big fuck you to how some of us perceive. Things now in this current state with the mm-hmm. social media world, how there's these foodies. Uh, yeah. Nicholas Hawk plays a foodie, and he goes down the whole trade of all that and uh, talks about he's so into it, and there's even one point where he gets jealous about it, and mm-hmm. and the way how he does it, it's like, it's like some sort of like uh, anybody who could treat that as like music or, yeah. or anything. Like, like this person ends up Getting more interested in the food and he goes, why is he? Why is he? Yeah, she getting so interested in the food? Well, that's fucking bullshit or whatever. Yeah. And it just kind of um, reminds me of how like uh, snotty and yeah, ridiculous dude. people can be. Yes, dude. And uh-huh. not just with food, but but with like, Bro, the, like what I just everything. said. Yeah. Like, everything. Yeah. Like everything. Just, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. I said, just remember back in the day when these hipster motherfuckers were like, "Oh, you heard this band?" I mean, I <laughs> swear to God, I, I know people were like, "You never had foie gras." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, yeah. Or like, yeah, like they, they treated on some shit like that. We're like, oh, I know, that I, I don't, I don't age my steak for unless it's 17 years aged. I was like, well, then the fuck do you eat it? <laughs> like, shit. Get the fuck out of here. When the fuck? Do you eat? <laughs> and then th- that movie talks about like how how people uh, just like to live. This, like, like some of these people you know want to live like? a luxury life yeah. mm-hmm. and they just don't give a fuck about their own life and mm-hmm. there's like a conversation in there that, that I really like where this, this guy says uh, they talk about their lives and they do not want to talk about it at all and then the guy goes he mentions like the shitty stuff that he's done and then he goes I'm just here to have a good time that's what we always do and we're rich and blah blah and sociopaths and yeah. Yeah. yeah and then it's like and I, that, I said I think not only do do uh not rich, no, not only rich people think like that, but even people like middle class. Yeah. You know, well, you know what that reminds me? Like, you ever seen that show, uh, Black Mirror? Yeah. Like they were like yeah. rating you off the on the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never uh, saw it. It's kind of like, yeah, kind of goes like Pretty that. Sure. Kind of reminds me of that. It's a like, great show. Yeah. It is a good show. Like it's crazy. Bro, like I, I know doing some of the work I've been doing, my pops right doing AC. We've done work for rich people. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. they see everything as a fucking transaction. No, oh, like they don't care. Like, in, yeah. there's yeah. even like something like that yeah. that they confront in the movie, and like I know what you're talking about. I was like, yeah. I, I worked at Macy's. For, uh, like, I, I, it's called the Menu. The menu, yeah. yeah. And I worked at Macy's. I was there like I don't know, like like almost eight years, and, mm-hmm. and I dealt with so many type of like, uh, like just you know, like from middle class to way rich and snotty mm-hmm. people that were spending like about seven eight hundred dollars on clothes or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck with no worry at all or whatever and but I, there's this uh conversation of, of, about that of you know about some guy that goes there all the time but yet he can't name a plate but he just doesn't give a fuck or whatever and 
that in it. And also, it just has this whole state about society of how we are. And, and yeah. there's this really great line about yeah. how, like, nobody can get satisfied anymore. Yeah. And then it talks about also how much more pressure yeah. that society has because everybody uh, wants to be fucking perfect. Yeah. And shit and all well, that. Just, just front line yeah. Instagram yeah. and shit. Just like, like, that. like just. Just anything, anywhere, for a job, for what you want, and anything you wanted to do. Like, everybody always want, wants to be that best, but sometimes uh, a lot of people don't know how to settle for less or whatever. Yeah. You know, or just meet in the middle Bro. or compromise at all whatsoever. And that's what this movie tackles. And, and tackles so much stuff. There's a lot to read into. Yeah. And I could tell that this movie can probably piss off a lot of people. A bit. really fucking dark. But I agree with, like, 98 percent of this movie well like we had we had a rowdy conversation today with my little cousin she's like 26 now and she was like i don't want to do this i don't want to settle for this i was like because of kardashians like you're not the fucking kardashians <laughs> well, every, everything <laughs> is compared like, to them nowadays yeah, I'm like, well, they're like so but it's not everywhere. even the same world i was like you're on the south side <laughs> yeah it's not fucking yeah, the world is make-believe it doesn't they're not a fucking exist Castle Black, they or Calabasas, unreal, California. Unrealistic expectations and you know for real it's no that's that's another thing like it's toxic. people's like, expectations are too high about yeah. everything nowadays and and well they, they want the glory that, but they don't want to do the work that, in, in and with, with, the, with dating i mean i don't know <laughs> especially <laughs> like know you got all, all the yeah i forget you got, that. You, know, you, got all, these, you got too many um, options yeah, out there yeah. and, and especially for on um, both genders and shit it's yeah, a, there's, there's a there's like five genders now right <laughs> <laughs> your words man <laughs> It's just wild time. But I'm happy with it. Like, oh, yeah. No, but uh, my bad. Like, the, the menu is, is uh, if you're into, like, something dark or you're kind of fed up with what's going on, this movie's a big fuck you to that. And, really? And I would say go see it. But but if uh, you're not into dark stuff or whatever, just be prepared that it's going to be... Uh, I don't think it's as dark as it is, but mm-hmm. I think it's the thing it just hits the point. And that's what to me. Like I see other people being like, "Oh, it's really dark." Yeah. Did you ever see that movie Barbarian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? Oh, who's nah, I never seen Barbarian. No. Okay, okay. It's, what did you think about that movie? I thought it was a comedy. Okay. I, I was pretty. I was sucked in through the first half of the movie, but then the second half was just. Hilarious. It's like <laughs> hilarious. I hear you on that. No, it's a random, it's a recent movie. Um, it has Justin Long. Yeah. And it's funny how the movie just sucks you in at first because it starts off good. You know, it starts off just into the whole That's story at first. Yeah. It's intense. And yeah. And then when it gets to the point of the end of the middle part of the movie, that's when it just kind of like, Climax? This is this is really what's going on. It, it's not a climax at all. <laughs> That's the thing. It's, it doesn't hit you. It's a, it's a slow burn. Yeah. I kind of feel like that. It love. just flips, flips the side love. when it gets to the second half. Slow burn. Like when they introduce uh, Justin Long. Yeah. And that's all real interesting and all. But then, uh, it like treats these characters so smart and everything in the first half. And there's this clever exchange that. I would do that. Or yeah, whatever. and there's so much That's realistic funny. decisions being made in the first half, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then right when they get to the second half, they just treat these characters dumb. And uh, it's an, it was an alright movie. I mean, I yeah. thought it was alright. I, I, I admired it. I like the I way like how, it, it how it's filmed. I hate that I though. I didn't like how it. I didn't like. I didn't I like how it ended. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a good movie. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it, but I hate it when a movie's like all badass for one half and then it just. Oh, like, I thought you said you hate that guy. I thought you were talking I about Justin Long. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> he all wants to fight. And then, like, hate that guy. <laughs> no, you get, you get to half movie's badass, and then it just dies out, and you're yeah. like, man, what the fuck was that? Yeah, I just you're all invested in kind of yeah. yeah. yeah, that's what it kind of goes for. But, uh, but you know, it's it's a fun movie. Just well, it was to watch. like the last Star Wars I saw, the, the number nine, where she was like, I'm Palpatine's granddaughter. Yeah. I was like, that was my reaction was... after I saw the Patchen. Yeah, yeah, I was very shocked. Mel Gibson was shocked. <laughs> I was watching South Park. <laughs> they were doing the whole. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it just, I, I didn't get it. Hey, bro, if you would have lived, we wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> We'd all be wearing yarmulkes and shit, right? Cheers. 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 You want one? 
Uh, sure. I didn't know that. Oh, you got one right there. Wow, you're magic. I locked and loaded, baby. You got, you got one just pulled it out. I locked and loaded. I usually go out on Friday night. You can cheers me or what? Cheers. Yeah, I suck on that front. It's good. The ice is good out here. It's all watered the down. Ice is really refreshing. Leave them alone. It's all watered down. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dunkin' Donuts. It's probably, it's it's probably badass. Ice Can kid, someone man. tell me really? I've never had it. Uh, the difference between Dutch Bros and everything else that's here? It's the guy when you get when you get to the end of the line at Dutch Bros, they will talk your ear off. Yeah, the window. <laughs> they are paid to uh, talk your ear off. Going, yeah, oh, man, no, really right. cool, man. I feel like everything from Dutch Bros is just different varieties of Red Bull. They're just over friendly. Yeah, like like everything yeah, cool. been there a couple times. Confused. Like yeah. four I rolled, my win- I rolled up my window and ignored him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just slowly. Like, and I just let him join. I'm like, all right, cool. I didn't. There's, there's nothing I've there. I've only been there like a few times. There's nothing there that doesn't have like four shots of espresso. In it. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. But yeah, it's, like a, it's supposed to be one of them places. Yeah, like Double torch, oh, torture yeah. or whatever they call yeah. it. And I didn't, I didn't know. But that. man, that it was, it was all right though. It's okay. so expensive. This is though, better and it's cheaper. Yeah, that's oh, a this size yeah. over there. Dutch Bros is like six or seven bucks. The yeah, one it's expensive, this yeah. is like three dollars. Okay, the one spot you have to go to get a checkout, which is a little pricey, but it's right there off uh, Columbia, uh, in six hundred four. It's called Roadrunner Coffee. Oh yeah, that place is good. I thought that they have one called the. It's called the Revved Up, and it's six shots of espresso. Jesus. It'll wake your ass up. What about really? Summer Moon? Yeah. Have you been to Summer Moon? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I was on. Where's that one at? Uh, Sailor Moon? Culebra? Yeah, Sailor Moon. Like, <laughs> uh, right there, Alamo Ranch area? Like past Japan. that? Like, like Japan. Half, like, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Which you gotta go to looks Venus. like a, a maximum <laughs> You're a bit of Venus. <laughs> Sailor you Jupiter, Jupiter son. Huh? No, but we were just talking about the end of the episode. Uh, Northside had all their schools made by the same like developer, H.P. Zachary. Yeah, hey, Zachary. Prison guy. And H.P. Uh, Zachary yeah, made no prisons wonder. and that schools. Makes, yeah, that makes sense. They all look like that. It looks like a maximum security. But they sure stepped it up compared to when we used to have. Yeah. Go there. Have you seen the revamp of Zachary right now? No. no. Oh, it like, looks crazy. It knocked it, like the whole. Uh, you know where you got picked up by the buses? Yeah, yeah. Or, they knocked that whole front off, and they just pretty much built a whole like floor there. Like my dad works for Northside, and he yeah. was telling me like they're really shorthanded on the uh, uh, custodians, and, mm-hmm. and like, they're not happy about that. It's like it just adds a bunch of more. Them to do more work, yeah. yeah shit. <clears throat> but it looks wild. Like they've been, it's been like about half a year, maybe. I remember they're doing yeah. construction on yeah. it. They've been doing it for a minute. Yeah. I, I even, yeah. even Knowlton. Oh yeah, yeah you yeah, never yeah. went to those areas. Right? Oh, I went to Zachary. Yeah, just for a small minute, right? For no, like sixth and seventh grade, and then I went to Jordan. Oh, there you go. Oh wow. And then, and then I went to Taft and met you. <laughs> yeah, when it was crowded in the, in the hallway. I just remember walking by, and you, you had the, we had the same shirt on, the same Deftone shirt on. I was like, hey, I like your shirt. I'm, like, hey, I'm that's, Lewis, that, I'm that, Ben. That's and that, was, that was it. We were friends after that. That's exactly what I told him when I first met him in that home science class. Hey, I like your shirt. Hey, hold on, hold on. For, first of all, shout out, Phil. Phil shout yeah, out, Phil. Yeah. I don't know why Phil we ran nice. after you that one day. <laughs> Because he was wearing a collar, and I told him not to wear it. We oh, yeah, that's brown, right, the duck. He put on a brown dog collar. I remember that. And <laughs> and you guys ran after uh, him. Told, everybody kept telling him no. I told him, don't do it, man. Don't put that on. <laughs> You're going to get us beat up or something. <laughs> it was so punk rock. I just remember, like, getting off the buses in, like, high school. Yeah. And you walk up to the stairs, and there was just a circle of us. Mm-hmm. We just all mm-hmm. push each other around. <laughs> Like for no reason. That was a meetup, and that was our little greetings. That that entrance isn't even there anymore. I don't think. Really? Yeah, changed, I don't think so. They changed it. Yeah. I think it's all band shit. It's all like band yeah. practice space now. It looks really? like. Yeah. Shit. Damn, I, re- I haven't passed by Taft in a while. All the time, baby's mama lives past Harlem. Oh shit! Wait, oh, that's yeah. a school like closer by Tally, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, mm-hmm. It's crazy how much that's gone out but there's there. There's a high school down the street from the high school. Yeah. yeah. I was I was passing down the street from another high school. Didn't Judd used to? That's how many people yeah, right. are out there now. Yeah, yeah. yeah on Tally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right off of Tally. Yeah, just thinking about that. In those trailers, you, yeah. you, you good? What's up? You need a beer or anything? I got one. It would be great. Do you guys remember the Benny Hill show? Yeah. Okay, do you remember like watching it as a kid? 
Uh, I just yeah, and, and, yeah. Just, and just watching it, like thinking what was going on. But waiting for the chicks in the bikinis to come out. Yeah, and then right. and not just that, but then just the song too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that song is classic to nowadays. Because when you hear it, you just think of Benny Hill. Yeah. But then when you think of the show, it's like holy shit! It's yeah. really like a perverted show back oh, yeah. in the time. But yeah. we used to watch it. Did it come they out on PBS? They, they don't make stuff like that. Not anymore. No. Well, I mean, they, they do, but it's just more extreme. No, it wasn't yeah, PBS. Yeah. It was, it was like I think. Yeah, it was. It certainly wasn't PBS. Shit, it was like, uh, but it was one of them random ass channels back in the day. Where, like, where they would show anybody, BBC stuff. Yeah, what does yeah. anybody watch on here? And it wasn't yeah. even the BBC channel. It was some other yeah, shit. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, random channel. KLRN? No, uh, no, because that's no, still the PBS. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to that. And yeah. They had some good shows, dog. <clears throat> that was another. That was another good one. But what do you still have? Oh shit! Bring it. Well, he's there. Sorry about that. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what have you been watching on TV? Me? Do you watch any TV shows? Yeah, yeah, I watch a bunch. Yeah, I watch a bunch, man. They're all over the place. It's uh, too much. I just watch I Love Lucy all, all day. And, nah, and Frasier? No. I, will, I, I will watch Frasier. Yeah, this guy <laughs> for sure will watch it. I think I've actually seen him watch it. Walking in, he's like, hey, what's going on? I was like, dude, this is Frasier. I never got into that, uh, but I do remember it was like Seinfeld, Frasier. The Simpsons, Seinfeld, and then Frasier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every that's, night. That's yeah. Funny. 10, 10, 30, and 11 o'clock. Like, right after Frasier, that's when I passed out. Because that's... Yeah, I, just I would always fall... I would fall asleep at the beginning of Frasier, and I'd wake up in the middle of it, like, not know what's going on, but still try and watch it and fall asleep. I was too young to understand. Yeah, same, same. Time. Yeah. You know? It but, was like, like if you adult. rewatch it, it's funny as fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I and hear, I, feel, I feel so bad for Frasier, because, uh, you know, 9-11 happened on Frasier Crane Day in Seattle? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, and Seattle's like, already sad as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, they the day the day he did like Fraser Crane Day, yeah. like nine eleven happened. Like, I didn't yeah. even know Fraser Crane well, just Day like, was a thing. But I mean, just like well, it yo, never it never picked up because yeah. you know what I mean. It happened well, like you said. But just like yo, anybody who had a birthday on nine eleven, you're like, all right, man. Yeah. Oh, I never. I you you know me. I never give a fuck. Yeah. I always turn up. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. <laughs> I, remember, I remember the day it happened, skipping school and being at home when that happened. And then the next day, I saw you. You're like, "Hey, guess what happened on my birthday?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's right." I just remember the girl I was dating at the time like calls me and she's like, "Hey, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up!" And then like I just see the second plane crash in the tower. She's like, "Happy birthday!" <laughs> wow, damn, that's wow. dark. That's but I remember dark. we were sitting in the in class. It was chemistry class, and it was a uh, like, "Oh my god, a plane hit the tower!" And so we're like, "No shit!" And we remember live just being like, "Boom!" Like, "Oh shit, that just happened." Yeah, right. it was, it was like Bro, remember remember when Columbine happened? Yeah. That was insane. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, remember, like, all the fire drills they used to take us outside of chill? Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Now that shit ain't no joke nowadays. Oh, yeah, now it's like, now that's like happens all the time, apparently. It's scary, it's scary. Man, man that's sad about that, that Walmart shooting that happened a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, that was intense. Homie had, like, a list of was names. Disgruntled he was boy. knocking them off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty intense. That was for sure. Sad, <clears throat> and, and it kind of makes you just think like you have to really be on your on your go anywhere you go. Yeah, you know. And, <laughs> and it's funny. Did you ever see that that uh, info that mer that commercial? It was like an infomercial um, of people from California moving to Texas. I know, no, no, but I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, he carries a gun. It's like, no, this is Texas. You know, we are allowed to carry guns. Yeah. It's like, oh, this guy's walking to our to our house. What is he going to do? Yeah, say hi. Uh, just Harry say, oh yeah, we're from California. We're used to people defecating on our lawn. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> you know, doing stuff like that. It's just insane. But, um, but yeah, you have to like be get careful when you go out nowadays. Mm -hmm. you know, it's intense. Wow. Really yeah, it's some wild shit, man. I think it's. Um I feel like people are starting to take like, mental health stuff more serious now, like a little serious uh, nowadays as opposed to before, but I feel like it's still not serious enough. Oh, absolutely. Because at least... Because, so. cause, I mean, a lot of people don't know what other people are doing. Bro, I think these big corporations like Walmart and them, they know they're fucking their employees over and paying them like shit and making them, overworking them. Bro, you better have a therapist on fucking standby, bro. Like, because... Yeah. Well, shit like Cause that they deal with a lot. Well, the problem is they just don't care. No, I'm talking about shit like that, like right here, the Walmart guy. Yeah. Oh, just going to the employee who's knocking people like... Bro, oh, I mean, come on, look at all those girls, like, the boys at that, that Apple, yes. the biggest Apple, like, 
What is the biggest Apple manufacturer in China? They're See, riding like crazy. You got to give it up to the Chinese people who work at Apple because instead of killing everybody else, they just kill themselves. They hop over the side of the building oh. and <laughs> <laughs> take bad. out one guy as just opposed bad, to like man. 20. You know what I'm saying? Wow. wow. <laughs> Yeah, but now they, they give a fuck. <laughs> like this one time. <laughs> but now they give a fuck because they're, they're doing something about it. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's good. Yeah, because a but lot of people are making it clear what's going on. It's pretty gotcha what they did. Uh, gotcha. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people I like that didn't want to work there because of COVID. And mm-hmm. then and then they were like, oh, we'll, we'll pay you incentives. We'll pay, and we'll also pay you bonuses on top Where, of that. Amazon? No, at Foxconn oh, in, in China, oh, and people they, that make the iPhone, and they because people didn't want to work there because they like they didn't want to get they're working so too funny. much too. It, well, that they're and, like overworking them. They're like they're supposedly in lockdown over there, but they're not going to close down Foxconn. No, hell no. So it's like no, and so they still making people work there, but people were too scared to work there because of COVID. So all these people left, and then they started like offering more incentives, like we'll pay you a little bit more than when you used used to get paid, and We'll give you a bonus on top of that for coming but back. But then they do like crazy shit. Like I want to say one of the things uh, proposals like, well, you, we could have like, uh, you could live here and then work. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, that, some shit. Like yeah, that. Like, they're like, no, if you don't work COVID, and, uh, you'll be locked right. down in one little space. And you're like, man, yeah, they're going crazy over there right now. Yeah, yeah it's like some shit like that. But they went back on all that when, yeah. when all the people of course they came did. Back. They didn't go through. The, that's yeah. why they're all they're all pissed off over there. I mean, I know that in lockdown, it, yeah, yeah, all that shit can add up to it's you. All piling up, man. Um, They've had it. Back to the Walmart guy, though. Do you think that's going to be the new new trend? It's Disgr- been disgruntled employee. No, it's disgruntled. Been. Oh, disgruntled. Employee yeah, I think, hell yeah, I think it is. Especially because way. like, dude, there's a lot of toxic work culture yeah, out there, yeah. and like, oh, I've worked yeah. in retail like the last like yeah. eight or seven yeah, years. Yeah, there there is a lot of it. Yeah, you yes, know? and there's like a, so much toxic work culture that, and I've worked seasonal at other places, like especially during the holidays yeah. or whatever, just to make extra money and, and I've experienced from other places and I've I don't know I just feel like now more days there's more of a toxic culture like almost everywhere not as bad as other places whatever but, but I'm just noticing that it's around a lot more and so well, dude look at like look at a place like Amazon she worked for Amazon before and you hear about them all the time on the news like the employees, work conditions are fucked up. Everything's fucked up. It's like, you don't yeah. think one day someone's going to go into Amazon fucking warehouse and shoot that shit up one day? It's probably I mean, closer than we fucking think. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of in a way happened a lot. Honestly, another, like, another I know the Amazons here, they don't have a metal detector yeah. when you walk in, so anybody can fucking walk in. Oh, wow. Oh, actually, there's one center here, actually, uh, over there off of... Callahan and FBI. He's joking. He's joking. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> no, they ha- no. Oh, oh, that's right. No, it's on. The, it's on the on the <clears throat> when you walk out. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about something else. Yeah, it's too many places. See, and then, what was scary one time is that when it happened at Lewis's place, when that guy was running in uh, through, and they had all of the uh, cops at the mall. Oh, at the mall. Yeah, mm-hmm. at the mall. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. Oh man, so uh, uh, so there was another shooting at the mall yesterday. Oh, oh shit! Wait, no, Black Friday. That. Black yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, was that was at South Pass or Ingram. Ingram. Oh damn! Yeah, That's hard like, Yeah, they. <laughs> but, then, but then again, it doesn't surprise me. And I love uh, uh, the headline, bro. Have you seen those new like, TVs? Though, it was like, uh, <laughs> what now? you seen those new TVs? No, no. I'd shoot somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what it was over a TV, or I don't know. <laughs> oh. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> go, speaking go ahead. Of, speaking of TVs, I got a really great one for uh, uh, on Black Friday. <laughs> you can't buy a TV in your room, though. I'm fucking with you. That's oh, funny. damn. Uh, 300 bucks, LG 50 inch, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was on sale. It was right there. Low Lucky, ground? Why not? Huh? Low ground? LG, low ground? Lucky Golden Star, actually. Oh. <laughs> then they changed it to Life's Good, but when it started in China or wherever the Lucky Golden Star. No <laughs> shit. <That's laughs> like a, at first, it was Lucky Golden That sounds like a fucking oh, yeah, fortune cookie. God damn. Like, mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Yeah. I learned that when I worked at Sprint. Is that was that's a fun <laughs> fact? Like that's actually true. At Sprint. Yeah, that's for real. One hundred percent. Yeah. Wow, that's insane. Look at that face. Google it. Yeah, Google it. Where's now? Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out your phone and Google it. <laughs> now, but uh, on seriousness, though, uh, seriousness. Back to that so Walmart thing. Calling? That uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't find that thing. I left it in my other pants. Back to that like Walmart thing. Like, 
like, <laughs> yeah, it sucks that there was another yeah. shooting, but I feel like it's different this time. This is a yeah. different setting. Yeah, this is a worker situation. Yeah. There was, these people were like, it was very specific. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and like, I don't know about the 16 year old. Like, yeah. I don't know if maybe he got caught in the crossfire. crossfire. That's what it sounds like. But yeah, maybe. I mean, it was sad. Uh, I had read the story about, uh, he had only been there for a little bit, and his first paycheck, he bought a Christmas present for his mom or Fuck something. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the other people had been there for, like, more than 10 years or, or whatnot. So I'm just thinking, like, I don't know. Like, in, uh, supposedly when he got demoted, mm-hmm. that guy who, who shot shot those people, he uh, made a, like, like a threat, you know, just like, oh, I just want to, I'll kill y'all or something like that. And it was probably like something random, and and they didn't take anything seriously. Yeah, that's the problem. No you one know? takes it and seriously. Supposedly, like, I don't know if maybe he got harassed from by them, or maybe he was a fucking asshole yeah, to yeah, them. Who knows? You know, and then there could have been this yeah toxic thing that that happened, and it was just so delayed so much that they got. So worse. It's up. It boiled up. On, e- yeah. on either side, and on either his side or the other side, it was still effective, and that's what I feel like is that a lot of people are not uh, don't take anything, are not accountable anymore. Yeah, like they don't take it seriously, and, and so shit hits the fan, and they do it at the last minute or something. But like when this happened, I just kind of started to think. I said, like, I kind of hope that this is not. The new trend because yeah. there's a lot of like oh, dude, toxic work culture. There, yeah, I read a book. I read a book by um, as a Malcolm Gladwell, and it was a uh, fuck. It was one. It was literally a book about trends, right? Straight up about trends. And they said if someone's in your in your area, even if you see it on TV, it, it becomes more familiar with you, and it's more likely to repeat itself. If someone's more susceptible to doing that shit, so as she doesn't say it might be a fucking. It might become a trend. Yeah, I mean, like, this guy, like, he, yeah, he might have been like. Like mentally ill, whatsoever. But like, there was a lady that he didn't kill there that was supposedly there for like five days, and he let her go. And so he he knew what he wanted and knew he had. A list. He just I think he yeah. just got pushed over over the edge or something. I'm not saying he was in the right mm-hmm. or whatever. I'm I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, taking in perspective of of that, it's toxic work culture. Yeah. You know, maybe it's going right. Yeah, so yeah. Long. treat people nicely. The fucking man. Uh, shit, thing about like with shit inflation and the, what's been going on with the pandemic. And take all that and push it all together, especially what's going on and everything's getting tighter and tougher now. And then that can push someone over the edge. And <coughs> I just was like, uh, it's got. I kind of feel like like people need to think about that when Pay they go to work. To that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, to how you treat people, not just at work, anywhere, man. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. For, for sure. Well, it I just, like, like I said, I work at the mall, so I get treated like shit all the time. Yeah, like I'll just say like, "Hey, how you doing today?" And people just like, me <laughs> give me this look, and it's just yeah. like, no, they don't man, think. Like, it's like, man, I'm I'm just trying to get by. All right? So just come on, I really don't care. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just but be like, uh, hey, idiot. you're here to buy something and yeah. whatever. And you're... Oh, okay. yeah, I, you want a hat? <laughs> people, people, people will like argue with me over stupid, the stupidest thing. It's. Yeah, I've been there where it's like, yeah, all right. Like I know what I'm, I know what I'm talking about, but yeah. speak your shit, talk your shit. They think they know more. Yeah. Than him. Like the other day, one of my coworkers was walking with a ladder, and he was just like, "Oh, watch out!" You know, watch yeah. out. And the guy was like, "You mean excuse me?" And it's like, dude, why are you turning into this little thing? Just move out of the fucking way. You yeah. see this guy walking. Around I want to be right. Yeah. 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 You're just telling me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you need what to address it right. Me? Right or yeah, not I've right? I counted that a lot. And then he told, "What do you tell my coworkers? Your parents didn't teach you respect." I was just like, <laughs> "Well, motherfucker, I just told my coworkers." I, I always have to go there. Like, well, apparently, why do you have to go that direction? I drive a Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> Say, well, apparently, Look at my polo shirt. Apparently, that dude's pa- uh, parents didn't teach him respect either. Like, yeah. Yeah. give it, give it to get it, man. And like, yeah, exactly, exactly. Fuck it. You mean excuse me? Mm-hmm. You know, wow, I'm moving really the other way. For an hour and eighteen minutes. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, shoot, man, I, 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 I guess it's around that time. All right, cool. Got it. Man, uh, uh, I it's appreciate y'all sitting with me tonight. This is fun. It's a lot easier than y'all expected, right? Like, oh, yeah. Very fun. Just sitting here. Had a good time. Bullshit. Just shooting the shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, shit, Ben, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Oh, they're going to get a hold of me at sigbens underscore. Damn it, you could put me on the spot again. Why do you do that? <laughs> Why? You know how it comes. Oh, never mind. 
And if they want to get a hold of you and see, you gotta, you see all the crazy the hardcore you shows, you, <laughs> you have to fucking open up the Bifrost. Let's see, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> if they Ernest, want to get a hold of you, Ernest, I'm, and like I'm a, only a, on Instagram. See the crazy shows you're going to, or see any of the rowdy movies you're watching. Uh, I'm only on Instagram. ECT83. Um, I will talk about movies and stuff on my stories, uh, and then I'll just post like photos and like, videos of shows on, on my Instagram, but. Yeah, uh, I, I would like to mention movies out to that I think that should get mentioned. So oh, yeah. if you ever want to check out something on my stories, I'll, I'll put it out there. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Thank you, Ernest. Yo, Renee, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Instagram only, Grums210. Don't it's... feed them after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't, don't want to see what happens. I, 22 years strong, I've been Gremlins. Uh, I, was, I just post about my daughter uh, mainly because that's my, daughter. that's my life, you know? Most important, and uh, then second is uh, everything else. So emo. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of producer Pete? Uh, N O V T H E O C H O Nova the Ocho. Talk about Nova the Ocho. Nova the Ocho. The Ocho. Oh, shoot! Y'all stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I would do unless it's free. <laughs>